Smith & Wesson, the modern style revolvers. And what are we really talking about here? Well, we are talking about the horrible key lock, which is unloaded. And this is the only modern Smith that I actually own personally that was not lent to the channel. And we're talking about these little keys that Smith & Wesson includes in their revolver package and other other guns I believe the M&P's have them too um, and that turns now your gun is as they say locked and I can't do a thing with it other than open the cylinder nothing everything is seized up can't push on it nothing until I take the key reinsert them and turn it all right, now I'm free. Well, hopefully you've seen my uh, first video I did with this where we actually took a set of the same set of keys and a couple of different revolvers and uh, tried them out. Uh, if you're familiar with Taurus or Rossi, or I think they're the same company, uh, they also incorporated a system like this. And uh, I think uh, Smith & Wesson may have uh, bought the or paid to have it copied or whatnot. I'm not sure the exact uh, story behind it but the first video we just looked at it basically um, as seeing and identifying what it is this video we're going to open up the revolver and take a closer look at the internal mechanism and how it works all right stay tuned we're going to pop this thing apart okay so here it is the internal and uh, there it is right there this is the whole new configuration right here. You can see it's got a little spring and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick the key in on the other side so you can get a, take a look at how it works. Okay, so let's turn it, you can see that. So for those of you that wondered how these things work and what it looks like, that's it. Oh, did I lose it? Okay, now if you look at the, um, the way it's set up, there's this little nub that sticks out on the latch and that is actually um, locking itself up into the uh, hammer here, right here. So when this is in place, in there. Let's go ahead and put this in place. So as a quick look on the inside now that we've examined it and I saw you, uh, showed you guys what it is and what it looks like, what it does and how it works. Um, question remains, can you remove it and all that? Um, I know that, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm a really big fan of these Smith & Wesson revolvers and I definitely, if I had my choice, not to have them do this. I absolutely do not like the thing at all. I think it's adding something that can now fail on a revolver where it takes away from the reliability of a revolver if that thing were to fail. Um, as you can see um, there, it was kind of, to me, a real rinky-dink, Mickey Mouse looking design. Uh, it's, it's absolutely a terrible uh, design in my book. So, but that's how it works. It kind of slides in there and you can see now just how it all operates in there. So uh, that's a close up look at it in HD uh, on what that key lock looks like inside, what it does for those of you that uh, have always wondered that, like myself. So being this is the first uh, classic uh, revolver I bought with that key lock, of course they offer it in all their revolvers now. They're modern style revolvers. Anyway, I'm Bat Jack JW signing off for now. That's a uh, close up HD look at the revolver key lock of the Smith & Wesson. Not to mention I also do not like the way it looks like that. I'd rather have that big nice flat square latch there without that ugly key lock, right? Anyway, thanks for watching.